Hello or happy holidays. We are here with some Christmas Sage to showcase a handful of games. And the first one up is Birdo's Holiday Brawl. And this is a spin-off Mario game that lets you play as Birdo from Super Mario Bros. 2 and Doki Doki Panic. It plays similar to Mario Bros. games with the enemies coming out of the tunnels and you needing to destroy them. So Birdo can shoot eggs out of her mouth to defeat the enemies and the goal is to clear the stage of enemies to advance. If you take too long, a haunted mask will appear and frequently make attempts to damage you. Next is Boom Buster and this game is a 2D game that has uh, you dropping bombs in tunnels. So the game has a tutorial stage which I went through and I thought that the devs did a great job at making this tutorial stage. Uh, it taught me the controls and the moves were really nice so it was very informative and it wasn't pace breaking. So the moves are you can spin to attack enemies, you can double jump and you can air dash. You can even uh, air dash after you double jump. So I thought that was a nice feature. Uh, the game has a funny art style. It looks very similar to Pizza Tower. And I thought this game was actually pretty fun. Uh, it's a great entry and I recommend this one. Next is El Naldo Mobile. And this can be played on PC as I am doing in this video. The game functions like a touchscreen and you move your mouse to steer El Naldo and you use your spacebar to jump. So you can dash into enemies to destroy them. And the game has some good design for a mobile game. So the uh, I think the animations are really good for this. Sometimes you get some cutscenes that pop up if you eat certain foods or do certain tricks in the air after going off a ramp, similar to the Sonic the Hedgehog games. So uh, I think there's even a Sonic Adventure reference in here somewhere. <laughs> So uh, I recommend this game, it animates so well and it's just a good time for a mobile game. Next is Danger Cliff Special Christmas Demo and I won't stay on this for too long and the reason is that we already covered this earlier at Sage and the second reason was I was using a DualShock 4 controller and the game didn't support it although it did have controller support but I think it was for Xbox only. So I was using a keyboard in this video and it just felt pretty uncomfortable. So the game is actually pretty okay. You uh, jump over spikes and bottomless pits, transforming into a drill that you can use to air dash. You can air dash twice while in the air. However, you cannot do it in the same direction. So I found myself dashing up and then dashing forward most of the time. So uh, I didn't get too far in this demo, like I said, it was just uncomfortable using the keyboard and we had already played this earlier. So um, it's a good game, if you're going to play it and you like to use controllers, make sure you have an Xbox controller. Next up is Sleigh Bells, and this is a 3D platformer on the Unity engine. So you play as this reindeer that can do a floaty jump for an extended period of time, similar to Yoshi from the Mario games. You can also use some sort of a bracelet to throw at enemies, finding them for a few seconds, allowing you to jump on them and you know unalive them. So the gameplay was okay. I didn't like the level design too much as it just felt like it was just a bunch of jumping over bottomless pits. So uh, the level itself was also really lengthy. Uh, I was playing for quite a while before I reached the end of the stage. So um, I, th I think it's okay. You know, it did have controller support. Uh, it was pretty responsive. But uh, like I said, I think it was just a little bit too much bottomless pits. So that's going to do it for me on this session. Hopefully we can get to Advent Neon and some others next time. But if you're still here, I want to thank you for watching. Leave a like on the video if you want to help support me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time.